So 3.17 patch dropped. And uh, this is the kind of gear you can expect to roll with if you just spawn a Dorison. And just say, hey, I'm going to grab whatever is available. I decided to do a cheap uh, rig. Uh, the R67 shotgun, the trustworthy one, with uh, f quite a few magazines for the R67 on my, on my bandolier there on my chest. Uh, my med gun, uh, the tier 2 one, and the L86 pistol. So, that's the deal. This is light armor that's available in the store in the main mall. And you can see it's Venture Core. Notice the 20% damage reduction on the helmet, the chest the arms and the legs and then the undersuit that's available I went the full the full gamut here with everything that's available here well, apparently it's hard to see on there but it gives you an additional 10% damage reduction now in the future they they it's been said by the devs that they want to start trying to balance the armor suits to basically be environmental damage armor or weapon armor possibly even other kinds of like weapons that are energy versus ballistic in the future but this is the gear that you can expect to get for free here so to speak by just spending a uec and uh, getting uh, other equipment now I, I what i mean by free though just to be crystal clear uh, is you would pay for it and then take this gear over on the shuttle so there's the hotel you sp there's the building you spawn at okay there's stratus this not this door this door that's hidden behind the tree for some reason you can see the stratus door right here you go inside there and on the first floor on the right in fact i'm going to run over there <laughs> but uh <clears throat> You would go here and then grab your medical supplies if you want them, which I do recommend. Um, whether you're solo or you're working with a group, uh, you'd be surprised how many friends you make when you're able to res res resurrect people or heal yourself and stay in the fight. But uh, inside Stratus here, you have a uh, all-in-one store, basically. They sell gift shop shirts, shotguns, and sports drinks. <laughs> But uh, there's your R67s, there's your L86s. There is also additionally mods for these weapons. <clears throat> Make sure to pick Orison as your location to deliver to. Otherwise, you're going to have severe limitations on how much stuff you can buy. I'd recommend picking up like 10 shotguns, for example. Pistols you can take or leave. But um, these puppies right here will get, will get you in and out of... Uh, an actual PvP engagement, at least at super short ranges, effectively. And then if you go into attachments, uh, you can get different magazines for these weapons. Like, for example, at the very least, I'll show you the shotgun. You can see it's 5 AUEC per mag of 10 round mags. You can carry five of those on the Venture Core system. So that's just an example. Um, there's also your pistol mags and your you can put sights on and such if you want to. Here's the armor set that I'm talking about, the Venture Core white set. <clears throat> there's no other choices on armor, there's no other choices on weapons. There's a pistol and there's a shotgun, and that's it. So, uh, while the options are not very heavy, you have, you know, weapons and armor. You have your healing equipment you just saw me grab over there, starting at the video and you are good to go i would recommend buying 11 of each of each thing because i have a theory that with a hundred player servers up to 100 player servers it's going to get pretty busy here and the economy if they have any type of limitations on it which they occasionally do uh will keep getting sold out or at the very least just the two kiosks at the back of that store will be uh, taken up by other people you'll have to wait at the very least once you buy once all that equipment, what's nice is you can just keep respawning at your at your medical at the medical facility or in your bed and uh, get back into the locations you want to loot, locations you want to run missions for, over at Siege of Orison, which is on the roof of the Crusader showroom that I'm in right now.
Sorry, I'm just a little disorganized. Uh, so 3.17.2 live just got dropped. And um, it's been quite a wait. Uh, it's been <clears throat> uh, late, much later than I anticipated. But props to the CIG dev team and the deployment server team and such to uh, roll this out. Um, also, I will, I'm not going to go do a complete rundown of a ship sale, but there is a ship sale on the CIG website. They have everything from a uh, A2 <laughs> Hercules to a, a, you know, a C2 Herc, and, and they have smaller ships like the Vanguard, or I think Warden, the, uh, the gunboat version, the regular War Harbinger is not there. The Sentinel is not there as far as I saw on the list. Uh, but the warden is the standard vanguard, and um, the big, the big thing, the big new thing they're trying to push is another Atlas chassis uh, vehicle. It's the ballista's wep uh, gunboat brother. So the ballista is the missile truck that is an anti-air missile platform. It's more meant for long range and uh should have some ground capabilities as well and then you have the that which is more i'm not going to say indirect fire but it's meant to be longer range it's meant to have a little more opportunity to take things out at range but obviously when you fire the missile you know there's no way to reload it at this time <laughs> uh so um the centurion the new Atlas platform chassis that's weaponized has uh, the turret off the Spartan and then also four uh, laser repeaters in the stead of the missiles that you would find on the ballista. So just to review, you have the Spartan, which is like an APC that only has a small turret at the front. It's like a dual repeater turret. You have the ballista, which is the original and also I would argue the most desirable and most expensive of the series um, with the missile systems that have the longest range and a lot of punch but are obviously when you're out of missiles you're out of missiles and the devs today suggested that if something gets extremely close to you it wouldn't be wise to utilize a ballista and then the new Centurion which is supposed to be a shorter range or to mid-range weapon platform with four laser repeaters plus a small get off me turret to get off me turret like a Spartan and the ballista also have. It's an, it's an interesting lineup. It's an interesting lineup. I, I, I think uh, um, I'd like to see another platform. I, I would have, I'll be brutally honest, I would have preferred something where you can just swap the ballista out with a laser platform, but that wasn't going to happen. Uh, there is some additional modules that were required, so that's probably part of it. Uh, there's some new coolers that were added and some power plant changes, as I understand it. Um, so there's some interesting little things, but it just seemed like there wasn't that much uh, that really uh, caught my eye that made it like overwhelming that it would not be possible to have um, these lasers put on. <clears throat> now the dually CDF mission for here to defend the Orison Siege of Orison does not seem to be active. It is what is called a dynamic mission and CIG has stated that they don't want a ton of players on an active server because the rewards and the gameplay is balanced around less players. So you can see that the number is 74, and CIG has promised up to 100, up to 100 players on a single, uh, on a single web, on a single server, on 3.17.2 live. Um, so very interesting times indeed, and uh, I'm very curious to see how that'll go. Aside from the details that we've seen so far. Very nice. <laughs> so this is one of the things I'd like to show you that there is different weapons that are available on the spot with 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 uh, with ammunition, and there's also rare outfits 
this is something that we found in the test server as well that these are actual um, you know rare outfits and such you can see the crusader pin on this specific outfit um, special colors that are the crusader colors um, i also mentioned that when the dynamic event is not active you must defend yourself of course but you can shoot machinima here and uh, well I don't think I know anywhere else in the in the Stanton system that would look like this. And um, yeah, I forget the code. Is it like forty five seventeen or something like that? So these are full of resources inside these these containers during the event. Let me try it. Nope. But when these open, there can be medical supplies, there can be food, there can be ammo and guns to choose from. So you can see another P4AR rifle here. So what I can start doing is I, I, should, I should have came here with a backpack on, um, but I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I, want, I also wanted to show you only the things available in uh, just purchasable with UEC in, in Orison. To kind of give you an idea, lay of the land. By the way, you can hear my characters huffing and puffing because they're wearing a helmet. The helmet adds 20% damage reduction, but gee, it is annoying. I really hope they release a, a helmet that actually gives you the damage reduction that's bent for combat. Because I think there is one now, but eventually it will not do such a thing in the future. And I kind of wanted to go for a novelty aspect on this... Uh, account this video we're basically we're just kind of exploring and using all stuff i don't care about i just got given a bunch of money a uec after the wipe and uh, i can explore here with complete impunity and i'm out 30k uec or something oh there's an omg a little rarer thanks buddy and uh one other thing that is of note is that you do not have your localized inventory from Orison. So let's say, for example, I don't have enough FCU here. I don't have enough FCU here. I don't have a backpack on. So I can only take so much gear. I'm going to go scout for some food at the Greens place over here. And then I think I'm going to pull back, get a backpack, and then come back and take some, um, some clothes from Machinima. Maybe take a few pieces of armor, so if I if I lose it, I won't I won't flinch much. I will not be grabbing the black and blue gear, because that's the colors of the pirates, that's the colors of the bad guys on this. It's not that I'm totally 100% an RP or anything. Nothing wrong with that, but unless I'm doing it for a reason, um, I don't care. But it, it does make you a valid threat. Somebody could shoot you here and not realize that, that you're not the, uh, the enemy. And that would actually be pretty understandable, honestly, <laughs> you know. Uh, so here's some free food right here. Some MREs, some little snacks, some drinks. I don't have anything against these things, but I mean... What the heck? <laughs> Effects toxic. <laughs> you know, like just makes you wonder sometimes. But yeah, um, I think there's another loot box upstairs. Once again, those containers out there are loot boxes, but I can't get in them until the event takes place. So, uh, I'm just going to go to the roof. The upper floor has more of those containers, remember, right? And also the way to get to the next platform, the, the uh, brushwood platform. But the Solanke brushwood route is not really worth me taking, waiting two plus minutes to get the shuttle and everything else um, to go see o ORs. OZA food, Imperial cuisine, it's probably not worth it for me. Um, It doesn't hurt to keep your head on a swivel. Other players can be here. This room right here is actually a spawn closet uh, during the event. 
and I wouldn't put it past. Notice the caps aren't on these. That's how I know I can't loot these. Um, but uh, I wouldn't put it past it to accidentally come on line and uh, huh, the coffee machines work. I forgot I found a mug. Well, that's unfortunate. I went to go uh, hold down R to store this rifle, and clearly the light armor does not not happy with that. It's not like heavy armor where you can slap two on your back. So another thing to keep in mind uh, is you might want to loot some heavy armor while you're here uh, for your uh, looting capabilities. Enhanced looting capabilities, I guess you could say. Um, it's actually a little bit of a fight up here, if I remember right. Um, the NPCs tend to like to sit on the corners and wait for you to come in and then light you up. Uh, they're clearly not here. Did you play the play right now? Uh, and um, one of the other reasons I'm running around looting is uh, the wipe just happened. So probably the next wipe's going to be at a year plus. So all the stuff I have right now is going to be uh, usable for a year plus. That's pretty damn cool. Okay. Alrighty. I know it's not the most exciting thing to loot these, but um, there is loot to be had. I mean, tons of food and unique foods at that too, which is kind of cool. Um, and remember, these are all props too, if you're shooting anything machinima-wise. Pardon the lightning if you hear it, it's about to be pretty loud. But, uh, yeah. Let's get back to safety. Now, how I handle this is, um, I'll do a looting run. Wait a century for the dang doors. Hopefully the elevator didn't glitch me out. If this, if you ever get completely glitched here, just log off. Um, you should reappear in Orison. I have not tested that in 3.17.2 live yet, but I've tested it on all the 3.17.2 PTUs, and it's pretty interesting. Uh, you also notice that I have call to arms up with you can see the total criminals neutralized zero That was a, that was that the uh, quest you saw me accept inside the shuttle and There's a very good reason for that if somebody's running around killing players um, It'll help make their their icon appear the little red icon on them appear Especially not during the middle of the event. I don't have the blue try the reassuring triangle that means you're not killing players um, you know, when I accept Dooley's mission, so all I have to work with is, if you've already done it, um, then at least you get flagged. Um, it's pretty unlikely for me to run into somebody, and if I do, they're probably here to loot or here to be criminals, one or the other. Uh, but, I don't know, use every tool you can. Um, to try to make it a little bit more of a successful ratio. I have not actually been P had to PvP here once. Um, there was a few accidental shoots back and forth, you know, uh, here and there on, um, during the big event. We did a play test, I think it was last night. And it was actually pretty interesting, but eh, it's been not too bad. Whenever you're waiting for these shuttles, it's not best to just stand here out in the open under the lights and such. It's best to get yourself small over here or something like that. 
until the shuttle shows up. And even though you're on the shuttle, you're not completely safe. Look, I can shoot in here. Now, if I stand at the back here, I only have to cover the one door. So if somebody was chasing me or somebody was just hurling some grenades or something, I should be safe back here. Especially if I tuck up and get, get small up against this where I have a little bit of cover where I'm only having to defend this one door. And then the timer, it's on my side. They're either going to have to jump in with me and, and fight, you know, fight to the death, or they're going to back off. You know, they, hey, this, this isn't worth the kill, and then I have to wait. Even if I win, I have to ride the dang shuttle all the way back and forth, <laughs> back, to, back to base. And don't forget, if they have a sex status hit, um, there might be some players and NPCs standing at that location that aren't going to be too happy to see them. And then they'll end up in Kelter, a prison colony. <laughs> so, you know, that's just some stuff to think about if you're in the crook side. Uh, you might want to think carefully about your options. But yeah, so this was a small loot run. And um, I started out with every single thing I purchased here. <laughs> um, just literally out of the gift shop, basically, and the, uh, the medical store, uh, the, the, health, the hospital. So, kind of cool, kind of cool, kind of fun. Um, these type of things kind of keep me interested in the game. You know, you do your big things, you do your mission chains and all these other things that make you notice the uh, combat prohibited just hit right there. But uh, you kind of you kind of do the big missions and the big money and such, but little uh, adventures like this tend to keep me interested in the game, keep me having fun. And when I have org mates, buddies that don't play that often, other folks, when it, if you're watching this right now, now you know why I have so much armor, weapons, food, everything just available on all my ships, uh, because I constantly do this stuff. Uh, people that run around with me, um, they'll come on an adventure, and all of a sudden I'll just throw a bunch of random armor on the ground and weapons and food and drink, and. and the healing supplies and they'll be like what is all this stuff where you get all this well it's on adventures like this <laughs> uh, normally I'd have a backpack too so I'd be coming back pretty heavy on the loot uh, but it would just be more food loot this this go around <laughs> so yes if you're wondering uh, as of patch night at like 8 8:45 p.m. Eastern stand EST uh, it is Norison's uh, FPS uh, event is not going on. Uh, you can see in the chat people all chatting about the money that was sent out to everybody. And it was uh, more money based on how much time you spent in 3.17.2, sorry, 3.17.1 live, which uh, for content creators and testers and issue council diehards, um, the gang that we all are that spend a lot of time on the PTU uh, we didn't get as much as everyone else uh, but that's fine I will constantly make money I made I was given millions so I'm fine <laughs> you know um, but uh, it's interesting to see the highest number I've seen so far is 30 million at UEC which is insane I would love to know how what somebody's been doing in, in 3.17.1 live. Uh, they must log in every single night and go mining or something. You know, um, you gotta do, do a lot of intensive things that take hours because it was based on time in on the live server. I mean, I'm almost excited. I'd love to see like a leaderboard, <laughs> a ranking as a leaderboard or something on that would be kind of interesting to see if they're all indie minded folks or are they pirates etc but um yeah I hope this was an interesting little little adventure here uh, please let me know give me some give me some feedback I find it funny yep you can take this person's stuff too and this soldier I bet you can as well it's kind of messed up but you can if you really wanted to, um, I would I would not do that right here with a bunch of armed NPCs just hanging out, pretty angry. But uh, you do you. 
it's uh it's a little bit different tempo than what we're used to you know worsen um is crusader it's very clean it's very organized it's very mission oriented and humanitarian minded and um having to deal with pirates that hack the fof array is pretty an interesting concept where all of a sudden now the the home field advantage was taken from crusader industries and the UEC advo UEE advocacy groups um, are not able to bring in the big guns of, of, of the UEE and Crusader's entire fleet uh, is not at their disposal. But it is an interesting event that as the dynamic event unfolds and you defeat the lieutenants on each one of them and unlock the containers and get the access codes and flip this the back, one of the cool things is right out of the showrooms on those stations that we were just those platforms you can literally get your hands on ships it starts very small with like pisces and then it goes all the way up to hercules uh, um, mercury star runners great i I've, I've seen gray cats as well entire fleets of gray cats little little gray cat buggy ptvs um and uh at least in the preview i saw for the for the for the live video uh, a nova tank uh, you can get a chance to play with one of those over there, but uh, there is quite a few things. I did have a static um, turret on the last test playthrough last night, or whatever it was, uh, <laughs> on the last PTU patch. And um, that was pretty cool. I think I took down like 11 NPCs with that static weapon and then got knocked out. And um, as a reminder, if you work with a group and... Uh, even if you just go over solo and then you start resing people and such, they're not going to forget that. They will suddenly come get you. Your knockdown time is, is usually like an hour plus, you know, an hour and a half, an hour plus. So it's, it's, um, it's certainly something to bear in mind. You can see a backpack increases your storage space considerably. There's 40K at micro, receiver, micro SCUs versus 9K and, and 6K. That's pretty dang awesome. Last uh, call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. All right. Let me see if I can get back over there. Clear the hatch. Shuttle will be departing. Uh, that's it for me. I did end up doing a pretty deep run all the way back to the Brushwood platform while watching a last the original game, Last of Us game playthrough and loot, just looting my uh, and really, really enjoyable looting experience so far and I found my first ammo because this is just food behind the bar there's another one of these with food and drink and such but I wanted to show you this one this is the first weapon locker I found now granted I mean they're not only on these platforms but this is a pretty cool play payout right here so I'm going to take full advantage of this looks like a uh designer sniper rifle and a grenade and a full scale grenade launcher on the back here so i'm gonna have to get creative here to get this to stay but uh there we go so uh yeah <laughs> Thought I wanted to share that. I do not have uh, my backpack on me, unfortunately. So basically, I've got to pick and choose carefully what I want to grab out of here. But uh thought I would share this little good fortune here of finding this uh, designer sniper rifle. And uh, mention that there's a lot of interesting stuff in these containers inside these places. Notice the ammo style one is... Uh, pretty useful you can see there's also uh, these are like nerf darts and um, there's even like weapon mods in here and all sorts of other interesting stuff kind of cool just a little cool thing you can look on here and you can see that this weapon is a optics is size 3 under barrel attachment is size 2 so if I was looking on here I see size 1 I see size 2 for the barrel and I can kind of work backwards from there. But a uh, nice little thing. These are basically what you find in the containers. This style is really what you'll find in there. Uh, but, uh, yeah. 
And that is all that is here. Hopefully somebody else will come back and get the grenade Managed to get a hold of the grenade launcher and also the sniper rifle. Um, I probably don't want to fidget too much with these weapons. But, uh, see that? But, um, it's kind of cool. You can see the uh, custom animations of this one. If I do the grab option, it eventually glitches in. And then I get to keep the other one too. Which is kind of cool. Alrighty. Uh, this is my loot payout this go around. And uh, let's... Uh, call it on this. I'm going to start heading back.